What's up everybody? We're going to be showing you a clip on spraying epoxy primer. Uh, we'll show uh, the final stages of the prep on sheet metal. Uh, the sheet metal you're going to see has been treated with uh, acid edge and conversion coating. Uh, it sat around for two days or so, so some dust got on it. So you can see here that uh, I'm going to wash the last piece of sheet metal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, detergent that is uh, called 310 Alkaline Cleaner. Um, you can use dishwashing soap for this matter. You know, you detail clean it, wash it, uh, completely rinse it with water, and then let it uh, completely dry and it's ready to go. Uh, on the first part of the video, uh, you can see exactly that. I'm just using the 310 Cleaner washing it completely with water and uh, then I you could either let it sit for it to completely dry or if you want to get it done a little quicker just dry it with a, a clean rag uh, take some shop air blow uh, blow the part off make sure you get all the water off um, the little cracks and stuff that way when you start spraying um, once the air pressure hits it from the gun, you don't get water dripping off on your um, new epoxy primer. Once the part is completely dry, then uh, set it up. And uh, it's almost ready for, for spraying. You can see here that I'm going to hang my parts. I usually spray everything out of vertical. And then I have uh, not only... Uh, is it better to do that? But it, it gives me more room in the spray booth uh, for doing that. You got to be really careful not to make runs. But once you uh, once you get good at it or master the epoxy primer, then you'll be all right. What I'm doing here is I'm giving it the final wipe down. We use a product called Wipe Off, and that's a water-based product. We buy it at the local automotive paint store. Um, wipe off once again you spray it either on the rag or on the surface and then take a clean rag and do the final final wipe off uh, we also carry well poly polyfiber carries a product called 2210 you could also uh -huh. use 2210 try not to soak the part just damp the rag a little bit and then do the final wipe with um, 2210 cleaner once again in this case i'm using a product called wipe out you can see there on the bottle wipe out um, and it's a great cleaner before you do any spraying. It doesn't matter if it's epoxy primer or an actual top coat. You can use this product for that. We're going to be using a white epoxy primer and there you have it. Um, I'm going to open up the can and mix it. Epoxy primer is a two to one mixing ratio. Okay, So you're going to take two parts primer to one part catalyst. And then you're gonna reduce that by 50%. So two to one is gonna give you three parts. Then we're gonna reduce that three parts by 50%. So we're gonna do one and a half of reducer, okay? So not to confuse you, is two to one mixing ratio two parts primer, one parts catalyst, and then a 50% reduction to catalyzed primer, so to mixed up primer. I'm using a, uh, a mixing cup there to get my ratios exact, um, as good as possible. You're gonna do two to one, and then 50% reducer. As you can see, I'm pouring it into a gallon can because I'm, I'm spraying a lot of parts, so I'm mixing a lot more than just one mixing cup. Once you have the primer mixed in, um, after you mix the primer, you need to let it sit for about 20 minutes for induction time to let the catalyst do its thing. Uh, set up your gun uh, and, uh, and get ready to spray. You can see there I'm, I'm loading the 
the cup that the gun attaches to we use a, a, a liner basically made by 3M uh, it's just a little plastic um, cup or a liner that goes into a plastic cup um, it works great that little liner uh, gets pressurized so if you have to shoot upside down um, you can so that's what we use some setups are just straight metal cups that's okay uh, the reason why we use these liners once again is to be able to spray upside down because it pressurizes so we're all set up ready to go now you just play with uh, your gun get the right setup right air pressure and volume coming out the gun and it's time to get to work With the epoxy primer, um, you want to shoot a minimum of three coats. Okay? The first coat's always um, kind of light. You know, lots of people when they're spraying, they'll talk about a fog coat. Well, with the epoxy primer, um, it's really not needed. You're not laying it super heavy because uh, you don't want to run obviously so you shoot your first coat uh, I try to make it uniform um, but it is a little lighter than the second and third coat once again you want to do a total of three coats of epoxy primer Alright guys, and there you have it. Um, once you spray your third coat, you're pretty much done. You want to let the primer sit for a couple of days. Uh, and then you're going to sand the primer and prep for paint.
Well, that's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.